A Warak chieftain. Strange you make of it, Shaman. My thoughts on this are clouded. I must take in the smoke of burnt wires to clear them. We are of the White Teeth, come down from the jawbone of Banur to test those who would run with us. A test? In those hunting grounds? No, it is an ordeal. Survive upon the glacier in the knife trail, as our ancestors did. It's been a harsh season. Two have yet to return. We shall wait. Then we shall bless their attempt. Then we shall leave. What does this ordeal involve? To scale the glacier's face and endure four days and four nights, sustained only from the frozen ground of the machines. Our shaman has blessed the ordeal and permitted their harvest. Metal to fashion weapons. The rest is forbidden. What about the two who haven't returned? It was their ordeal to face alone, their life or death. Those who return know the white teeth run alongside them. Those who do not know the white teeth mark their attempt. How generous. So who are the white teeth? Warriors. The first and the best. All young hunters hungry for the fight seek to run with us. Now the machines are angered. There was always fighting. We are well served, eh, Shaman? Every day lightning cracks in the smoke of battle. Every night a new name to honor in song. Aren't you even going to look for your missing hunters? In time. As months pass, the meltwater often carries the bodies out. Unbelievable. If there's a chance they're alive, then I'll look for them. Even if they did still live, they will not accept your aid, Outlander. To us, survival is sacred. Nothing else can be relied upon. We'll see. Blue green. We're taking that. I think I found one of the 
Outlander, huh? Well, who else would join me on this path I've taken? Which path would that be? Away from tradition. Away from the Werak. It's not so... Damn. They gain metal too. But my need is greater. Nuke don't accept help. Is it true? <laughs> they don't. I do. An outlander. Chieftain of a Werak. It's stranger in the cut than I thought. You're telling me. You fight well. I am a Kree. Thank you. I'm Aloy. I heard the White Teeth were missing two hunters. You look like you could leave if you wanted to, so... I stayed because of the other. My Len. She snapped her leg descending the ice. I bided my time keeping vigil, but now she must return to the Werak before they leave. Is joining the White Teeth so important to you? It's one of the great Weraks of Banor. Not so many great ones left now. I would go where my love went. I was her shadow on the snow, and she was mine. To be a runner with the White Teeth was everything to her. You know this, my land well. Since our knees were always skinned. All my life. In a test to prove that we only need ourselves. That was my weakness. Sounds like she was lucky for your weakness. That's not the way she sees it. What's this ordeal supposed to prove? That we have the strength of our ancestors. That we can survive as they did. When they came in search of a homeland, some were trapped against this glacier by a snowstorm. Four days, four nights. After the storm cleared, the survivors sighted a tall neck, which led them up into Banor. Well... That's the story I learned, anyway. So let's get her back to the work. All right. I've made a splint for her leg. Medicine for the pain, but I should warn you, she won't take them willingly. The law of survival... Tribal law shouldn't keep us apart from the ones we care for. Even if she cares more for the law. That's where we're going. Frozen flow from the Ice Father. It keeps many things. But it won't have her. Not if we can help it.
more up? We're lucky. Handholds have thawed. There. She's passed out again. Between us, we can fight the machines off before they reach her. Uh, another tradition broken. Take it from me. It gets easier the more you do it. feel her fever even in this cold. She shouldn't have been putting weight on this leg. She is awake. <sighs> Miss Outlander. You border here, Ikri? You think I went to the Nora homelands to find a spear to drive between us? I told you. The ordeal is mine, and mine alone. I will survive! Which would you rather keep, my Lin? Your leg, or your pride? Because I think you're gonna have to choose. Finish it. I know what you think of me. But I vowed you'd join the White Teeth. And you will. I will go back. <clears throat> Alone. <clears throat> no! Let me do this. Please, let her. My Len, I hope you can forgive me someday. I never accepted your help. It's the where act you should ask for forgiveness. I didn't care about the where act. She'll understand. You saved her life. You don't know the Benuk very well, Aloy. We have so many ways to express a grudge, and only one to accept an apology. I have to go my own way. I don't belong with them, who left her to die. And I don't belong with... Ikri, 
I'll find a crack in this glacier, and I'll shout my grief into it. And the ice can keep it forever. What should I tell them? Work that I fell. And that she endured. Will you? Has returned. I expect you have something to say about this. I do. Then convince me what an outlander. You put her through this ordeal. She gave up everything for your rules. She refused aid, just like you taught her. Walked back on a ruined leg. Left a friend behind. She passed the test. That's my word. Are you questioning it? My coldness to bring forth such heat? It must be the truth you speak. The white teeth shall accept her. Outlander. So nothing of the other hunter? The one called Ikri? She's... Gone. She sounded brave. Her name will always be in my song. for me here anymore. <laughs> Training again so soon, Akri? Never met a hunter who wished they'd trained less. I guess I'm not in any hurry to go back to Benor. Not yet. Do you want to talk about it? What happened at the glacier? No, I'd rather fight through it. Take it in my teeth and be left with the taste of determination. How about you, Aloy? Up for a challenge? So you know, I told the White Teeth what you asked. What about my Lynn? Did they accept her? They did. As they should. She was strong. Really, I only feel pride for her. As for me, I always wanted to be a snow ghost. Free to do what I will. What kind of challenge? A competition? No, together. We'll use the hunting grounds, but my rules. Lovak's fine with it. We'll take in as little as possible. My sling, your bow. You draw the machines to me so I can freeze them. 
and then you hit them when they're brittle. We'll fight until we run out of machines, or you run out of arrows. That's the challenge. Honestly, I'm more used to fighting alone. And I'm more used to fighting alongside another. So put your spear beside mine, why don't you? You freeze them, I shoot them. Doesn't seem so hard. Really? Then you'll only need half as many arrows as I'd planned to give you. W wait. It shows I trust your aim. Do you trust mine? <sighs> You've really got to work for a Banuk challenge, don't you? That's the spirit. Come on, let's drop off our gear and go. Aloy, lure the machines back here and I'll freeze them. Don't worry, I don't miss. Then I target them when they're vulnerable. Got it.
You made that look easy. Here, you've earned this. Who taught you? Your mother? Sister? His name was Rost. Rost? Sounds very Nora. I can almost picture him. Stout as a tree. And you? Myself. I never knew my parents. There's a saying, an infant means too fewer hands to hunt with. That challenge was their gift to me. It was a good challenge, Shakri. Think I should settle down? Start a hunting ground of my own? I think you could do whatever you put your mind to. Let's not say farewell. I've had enough of that to last me a dozen winters. I hope your song finds its proper end. But it won't be easy, will it? Is it that obvious? Fate's a long climb on a high cliff for people like you and me. I'll save the shooting for down in the hunting ground. 